Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to go over pieces of armor that are meant to fully encase the body, how they attach, and the mindset behind going about making such pieces. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the chest plate. To get this on and off, armor doesn't stretch the same way fabric does, so I needed an alternate method instead of slipping it on and off over my head. I decided that the best way to do this would be to separate through the shoulder seams and the side seams. The reason I chose Velcro is because when it's put together, I can have the pieces of my warbler go right up against each other without having any space showing in between. With a fully enclosed chest plate such as this, breathing room is important. I made sure that I had enough space so that I could fit my hands under here comfortably. And the same with this side. Just enough room to wiggle, bend forward a little bit, and most importantly, breathe. Just not too deep of breaths. So I'm going to take this off and I will show you just how easy it is to get in and out of it. And pull apart the shoulders first and then I pull the rest forward. Full front and full back. These are each one whole piece. The Velcro is along the seams. The soft part of the Velcro should always be what faces your body. The rough part of the Velcro should always be facing away. So when the two pieces come together, I just stick it one over the other just like this. On the inside, you can see the number of pieces that I used to make each. This chest plate is with four separate pieces of foam, and then the boobs themselves are just straight warbler. I wanted this chest plate to look more like a human body instead of a robot body to give Oriana some realism. I stretched my warbler out over a round surface. Instead of stopping there and leaving the boobs perfectly round, I gently heated it piece by piece and stretched it up into this shape. This part right here, even though it's got the foam base, what I did was I heated it up and I laid it over top of myself. Now be careful not to burn yourself when doing this because it does get hot. So when I put it on, I can feel that it indents a little bit right here before outdenting towards the boobs and the collarbone part, it sticks out more here along the top. This crease needed a little bit of work afterwards. For the back piece, because of all these detailed panels, I needed to make sure I cut it out so that way it would look like this design. So on the inside, you can see all the different pieces that I've layered together. So that's how the chest plate stays on, and those are the different pieces that went into making this all come together. For something like the arms, it's a little bit easier because these you can slip on and off. With the upper arm, my piece slips on and stays on. It stays up a little easier with the fabric instead of skin. Now just in case, if I can't get it off, it does separate right here. And once again, it's with Velcro. So here's that little bit of extra room that I can use to get this piece on and off of my arm. Next is the lower piece. This one doesn't have any Velcro on it. It's purely slide on, slide off. There's a gap just big enough right here which can open and close ever so slightly and that's all I need to get it on and off. An alternate method to doing one full piece here for the lower arm would be to do it in two halves. I have elastics attached to either end right here and it holds it in place. So the edges meet up along here and when I want to open it, I fold it along that edge where it is able to open. This one right here would have been Velcro to keep it in place and that way I'd be able to put it over my arm, close it up, and my arm is fully encased again. Slide it on gently and now it stays. It won't slide off over top of my wrist and this one won't come down as long as I don't have my arm completely straight. So between the two of them, I now have a workable arm. This lower part of the leg armor comes in two halves. The first half goes along the back and I've got elastics. I'm going to slip it over my jeans right now to show you. This is where it sits, attached at the top, as well as the bottom. This piece right here goes along the front. I have another elastic at the back for that as well. This elastic goes on top of the back piece. I pull it all the way up and then in behind. 
To keep this front part from flipping up on me, I have a little piece of Velcro right here. Scratchy side facing away from my skin. It corresponds to a piece right here on the inside of the back. And I fold the two together. So now that part stays down and my leg is fully enclosed front and back and the straps used to keep it in place are not easily visible. Next up is the thigh piece. This is also one big piece of armor because sliding it on and off is much easier than having to deal with straps or any of the other different methods. Right here is my opening piece and instead of Velcro, this time I went with elastics. So here's how nice it stretches for me to be able to get it on and off. It can twist and face inwards or it can twist and face outwards and it's just not going to stay on your leg where you want it. So with this piece of velcro attached on the inside of the armor and the other piece of velcro attached on the side of my thigh, I was able to hook the two together and keep it from sliding. As for keeping the armor up, it's not as easy as it was with my arm piece with the elbow preventing it from falling. So what this is, is it's a strap and this hooks onto the belt that I wear. It goes up underneath the belt and I've got Velcro on two sides here. Clamps down like that. Here's the belt, here's the Velcro. And that keeps it from slowly sliding down as I wear it. Another method to securing armor would be to put Velcro on the inside of any of your pieces and put the corresponding Velcro onto whatever you're supposed to be wearing underneath it. Straps are always ideal, but sometimes if you need to hide the straps, that's not always going to work out. So Velcro is your friend. I hope this video gave you some ideas on how to put together, attach, and take off pieces of armor that are meant to fully encase your body. Thank you for watching.